Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book, number 593. 593, Center of My Life. O Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. Keep me safe, O God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone, my happiness lies in you alone. O Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you, I will always serve you, I will always keep you in my sight. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight, since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. O Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you, I will always serve you, I will always keep you in my sight. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Alan Drabeck and the special intention for Rose Pinchero Scott. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy. For God is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on. Fifty men of the company of prophets also went, and stood at some distance from them, as they were both standing by the Jordan. Then Elisha took his mantle, unrolled it up, and struck the water. The water was parted to one side and to the other, until the two of them crossed on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elisha said to Elisha, Tell me what I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha said, Please let me inherit a double share of your spirit. He responded, You have asked a hard thing. Yet, if you see me as I am being taken from you, it will be granted to you. If not, it will not. As they continued walking and talking, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them, and Elijah ascended in a whirlwind into heaven. Elisha kept watching and crying out, Father, Father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. But when he could no longer see them, he grasped his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. He picked up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. 
he took the mantle of Elisha that had fallen from him and struck the water, saying, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When he had struck the water, the water was parted to one side and to the other, and Elisha went over. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, Let your heart take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your heart take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, that you have laid up for those who fear you and accomplished for those who take refuge in you in the sight of everyone. Let your heart take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. In the shelter of your presence, you hide them from human plots. You hold them safe under your shelter from contentious tongues. Let your heart take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts haughtily. Let your heart take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. All who love me will keep my words, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and in the street corners, so that they might be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Today's Gospel is one of my favorites. It's not only a direction of how we are to pray, but this whole idea that God sees in secret. So many times we can get discouraged when we do acts of kindness and get no thanks for them. Does anyone actually even notice when I go that extra mile? Sometimes it can be discouraging, but this Gospel reminds us that God who sees in secret will reward. It's often in the little things that God takes most delight. The little ways in which we show love, in your vocation as parents and grandparents, in your vocation as priests, Father Joe's and I, God sees the little things that we do and rewards us because if we're doing them just out of pure love without seeking a reward, God makes sure that a reward will come. Sometimes we see the rewards here on earth. So many times in my daily blessings, uh, the Holy Spirit has opened my eyes to realize how often God blesses me. And so I thank him right on the spot. Other times, the reward is not going to be here. We have to rely on that reward that is to come and anticipate it with great joy because those rewards have everlasting results. 
And yet we also in the first reading see this beautiful encounter of Elijah and Elisha where Elijah is taken up. If we don't read the passages, then we don't realize that Moses wasn't the only one who parted the sea, was he? Elijah had the same power, but we always talk about Moses taking the people through because that's the sexy passage from Exodus that we like to read, right? But here we see it again because with God all things are possible. And Elisha has to take on the new role that Elijah has left him as Elijah was lifted up with the chariots of fire, as we've heard. So many times we too have to take up the mission of others. Sometimes the clergy and the religious that have set a great standard of faith for us. Sometimes it might be with our own families as we mourn the passing of a loved one and how the baton of faith and also the responsibility of caring for the family is passed on to us. Perhaps a role we think is too early, that we aren't prepared for it, and yet the baton has been passed. In our mission here on earth, our responsibility is how are we carrying out that mission? Alicia had to face it, and so do we. So, do we face it with the power of prayer, with God at our side, equipped by the Lord? Are we willing to carry on the mission of those whom we stand on apostolic and firm foundations in Christ our Lord? Indeed, this is what we are called to do. May we do so with joy as the Lord blesses us today. Because God is our stronghold in time of need, we petition him with our prayers. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the Church, may we witness on behalf of Christ and testify to the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For national leaders, may God grant them courage to work for justice at all levels of society, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For families suffering separation or divorce, may Christ heal their wounds and renew them in hope, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of disciples here at St. Joseph, may the Holy Spirit open our hearts to hear the voice of God and prayerfully discern what he is calling us to do as individuals, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, we remember especially Alan, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they be seated at God's eternal banquet in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. Loving God, we praise and thank you for the countless ways you work in our lives. We ask that you hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Gerard, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Alan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one of the ministers of Russia. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us, holy pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us, one and all, under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. O Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even in safety shall my body rest. For you will not leave my soul among the dead nor let your beloved no decay. O Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, at your right hand, happiness forever. O Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. God bless you. Have a good day.